welcome back. Uh, doing something I don't normally do, a little more poppy of a song. I don't know if I consider it poppy, it's more like a folk pop or whatever it is, it's Ed Sheeran thinking out loud. And uh, whatever you think about this kind of music, this kid's a genius, I tell you. I don't know if I can say kid. I don't know how old he is, but uh, he does. Uh, his playing is uh, when you actually see him play guitar. Like, holy shit! And his lyrics, like, holy shit! So I was looking for songs to do, and uh, I went on Harmony. Or no, I only was want to say Harmony Central. It's not. It's Ultimate Guitar, and you can so sort. All their tabs by the top hundred of all time, and I would figure, you know, be a bunch of classic rock. But actually, no. There, there was. It's more top forties of the last fifteen years than than classic rock. But this song was in top ten, and it <clears> caught my eye because I actually tried the song to do the song before. I saw a video of a couple people drunk out of their minds with ukuleles doing this song, and it sounded good even though they're drunk. And I tried it then. And it just didn't click for me that time, so I saw it on a list and like, I can give that another try. And it actually, actually works. So this is not a melody lesson, this is more of a straight strum, so a sing-along type of song. But there's enough going on here that uh, uh, you'll be fine. Like It's enough going on that you kind of know what the song is when you hear it, hear it, even though it's just the chords. But there's a bass thing that we're going to do. So the chord we're using is a D. Uh, we're going to do a D, a different, as I don't know what to call this. But it's going to be, so your D is open, open, open. Then we're going to do a second D, which is two open, open. And then a G, low G, three, one, open. A. That's all your verses and your choruses. Pre-chorus, you're going to do E minor. Which we're going to do 5, 4, 3, A, 4, 4, 4, D, which is 4, 3, 2, and then we're going to do also do the E minor is 1, 1, 1, and we're going to do another A, 1, open, 1, and then a B minor, 2, 1, open. And I think that's all the chords. Which it sounds like more, it's just we're doing variations, different voicings of chords, right? <coughs> okay, so the main part. So that bass line we're doing. Open, two, three, one. And that follows the chords, so so we won't put any palm mutes in. We'll just keep it straight. D open with a single strum. Second fret D with an up and down. G, straight down, A, up and down. So you hit the bass note first, straight down. the majority of the song is that. Now you can put that palm mute in if you want. So I'm um, palm mute and a mute strike. So I'm palm muting, we talked about that. So just hit the string, move your palm until you get to that dead spot, but not totally dead. You don't want totally dead like that, but you want like a muted sound.
So that's just if you're doing the ponyos. Now to hit that percussion note. All right, so when you're doing the song, I, I said bass down on, the, on this. So bass down, bass up down, bass down, bass up down. So basically every downstroke, you're doing a hit. You're not worried about the sound, you want that percussion. So. And I think that's the best I can explain it. So every down, every strum down is a hit, a muted hit. And then from there, so you do that a whole bunch of times, uh, listen to the song and count how many times, because I don't know how many times you do it. Because that's the verse. Uh, and then I think it's... Uh, you do it at the beginning of the chorus as well, but it's a long verse. I just got the chords in front of me, so you do it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 times. And after you do it eight times, we got what they call is a pre-chorus. So, so you finish with that on your verse, and then you go into your A minor or E minor, A, D, E minor, A, E minor, A, B minor. Minor, A. So those are the chords we talked about at the beginning. So E minor, five, four, three. A four 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 D four three two. E minor, A. E minor, A B minor. But we're going to do B minor two one two. And then uh, on the fourth time through, we're doing E minor, but we're just doing it one, one, one. A, one open one. So, one more time. Back into that beginning part. And that was where your chorus starts. But with that pre chorus, the E minor, I wonder if we can put the mutes in there as well, the percussion hits. Try to find something that follows through all the way. I don't have it, so just uh, once you get the chord down, just experiment and throwing them in and see what what fits. Okay, so then we go to the chorus. So the chorus continues off the pre-chorus. So the last line of the pre-chorus, you start with the "So Honey Now," which is, and then you just follow through. So the chorus is. One, two, three, four, 
four times and then a tag line. So you do that again. I think this is four. So that tagline, you got a bunch of single stroke chords. Uh, so you do that beginning verse part four times and then it's B minor, A, G, D with your second low fret, E, A, open D. So song uh, chords instrumental you do the normal verse chords that's the whole song and then the outro is you do that four times screwed up the last line of course it wouldn't be a lesson by me if I didn't screw it up right so that's it that's the whole song it's a good song I I, I, I might have to look into some more Ed Sheeran and stuff probably there's a lot of the stuff I look at like it's like holy shit like he's 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 got some some funk in the way he plays. Like he's got some, like even this with the mutes and the stuff, just to try to get the right sound. I guess you don't have to do it. So much more if you can do it right oh, that's it for this one uh, I've got uh, I got five I'm working on I'm doing another one tonight that's ready and then I got uh, a really good one I'm working on I uh, it's really good to me I, I, I give enough trying to figure out you know I do I do a lesson that I think holy shit this is gonna be a huge song I'm like a fairy tale in New York. That's such a good song. It took me hours, and I get 200 hits. And then I do uh, Wreck of Fritz of Gerald. I get 1300. I I have no freaking clue. So I don't know what's gonna be a good one or not. But it's a good one to me. But that will uh, I'll probably work on the last three tomorrow, and maybe do some more lessons on Monday. I don't know, but we got these two today. So Ed Sheeran, thinking out loud. Practice patience, have fun, we'll see you guys next time.